Hello, Brian Comerford from Classroom Guidance with episode 38, making the boring stuff from the National Skills Bulletin interesting. In today's video, we will investigate the agriculture and animal care occupations data from the National Skills Bulletin. The agriculture and animal care sector comprises of farmers, elementary agriculture such as farm and forestry workers, mushroom pickers and nursery workers, horticulture, agriculture and fishing trades and gardeners, animal carers, pest controllers, managers in agriculture. So by the end of this video, you will know all about the factors that affect their growth and what that might mean for you if you are thinking about a job in any of these areas. Remember, subscribe to stay up to date. The overall picture for this sector is unfortunately not great. Around 109,000 people are employed in this sector, which equates to 4.7% of the Irish workforce. 84% of these are male, 45% are over 55, which is well above the national average of 19%. 78% are in full-time employment, and a massive 94% of these workers are Irish nationals. 42% have a further education and training, a PLC or apprenticeship qualification, which is 7% above the national average. These occupations also have the highest share of people employed with a lower secondary education or less at 37% compared to 11% nationally, which highlights the role experience plays over formal education in this sector. Employment in agriculture and animal care occupations declined by 1.1%, which is primarily driven by a drop in the number of farmers. The roles with the biggest growth were of elementary agricultural workers, although half of these roles were part-time. Some roles in the agricultural sector are suffering shortages, so let's have a look at these. There is a small shortage in dairy farm assistants. Dairy farm assistants work in a team and are responsible for all the tasks on a dairy farm, like feeding and watering the livestock, driving trucks and tractors to distribute feed to animals, examining animals for issues, maintaining and repairing equipment, and cleaning stalls. There is also a shortage of horticultural workers. These roles include mushroom, fruit and veg pickers. Responsibilities can include working in a pack house, sorting and packing produce, preparing soil for springtime, working in a plant nursery, planting and picking produce. The high number of job hires for horticultural workers shows that there is a turnover factor. That is, workers don't seem to last too long once they start the job. This occupation has also been identified as being at high risk of automation, although this may depend on the businesses having the resources to invest in new technology. A word on farmers. The number of farmers has declined in recent years, with a fall of over 14,000 since 2016. This is expected to continue given the older age profile of this occupation. Over half of farmers are aged 55 years or more. So to sum up, there are a number of issues negatively affecting the agriculture and animal care sector. A recent ERSI paper points to it as being one of the most severely impacted sectors as a result of Brexit in terms of farming exports. Government targets to reduce greenhouse gases in their climate action plan are also likely to impact employment numbers for these occupations, for example by reducing the national herd. There are also issues of attracting and retaining workers, as much of the work in this sector is hard and low paid. As already stated, the demographic effects of the ageing farmer population are also driving a decline in employment. Farming is a vocation and a way of life. If you are already involved in this sector and it's in your blood, absolutely continue with it, if that is what you want to do. But for the rest of us, unless this sector has a radical overhaul, there are probably easier and more stable ways to make a living. If you haven't already, subscribe to stay informed. Thank you.